Hey guys, Marcia here. Today I have a goblin art to paint. Rather than painting a single miniature at a time, I decided to paint them together, spending as little time as possible. I'm going to share this process with you. Let's do it! It is better to prime them. Priming helps the paint to adhere to the surface. There are black, gray and white primer. I usually like to apply the black primer and the white from above. This way I can see where the lights and shadows should be. Now that we've got everything primed and ready to go, we can start painting. First thing, observe what similarities, what materials they have. Most characters are goblins, so they have the same skin color. There is also a hobgoblin, a bugbear, a werebat and a bat. The materials are wood, metal, fabric, bone. So, I will start with the skin for two reasons. The skin has ice taste in the background and I can paint carelessly, not caring about going out of bounds and mudding. In addition, it already creates an identity. I start with the skin with a darkest color, forest green. When I apply a dark color first and then I add the light, it is a way to construct the volume. Keep the darker areas and add light each time, covering less area, more and more intensely. It is one of the ways to paint which I prefer. To paint this big guy here, a mutant goblin, I will use another tone. I'm mixing the spare green with a forest green. I forgot to apply the primer, but it's okay, I will paint without it. The third green tone to paint the skin is Goblin Flash. After applying it in all the goblins, I will finish with the lighter color, canary green. For the bugbear, I will start with orange brown mixed with dark breast.
To paint the fur and separate it from the skin, I will mix dark rust with black. To add light, I'm using pure orange brown, mixed with vampiric flash for the skin and pure dark rush for the fur. I'm painting the hobby goblin with wine red. To light it, I add dark rust. Then, this shell brown. To lighten it even more, I add vampiric flash to the previous mixture. To paint the base coat from the wear bed, I'm applying first green mixed with dark rust. And to finish, I add orange brown and the pink flash to the purple's mixture. I'm applying black in the back. I add white to also create gray variations, mixing it with black in the bath. The next step is painting wood. The first color I will use is Bosch Chest Paint.
After applying it and outwards, I add Vampiric Flash to highlight. For that, I'm applying a dry brush. I removed the excess paint before applying it to bring out the details of wood texture, because the paint stays on the foreground. Then, I use an ink, or it could be a wash, to create an effect of wood, making it more intense by increasing the contrast. It happens because the ink enters into the deepest areas. Now, I will make some brown color variations to paint the clothes. A green shade of brown, camouflage green, a red shade of brown, brown skin, a white shade, herbacles brown, a chocolate shade, scarred wood, and an orange shade of brown, dark rust. I will increase the orange of this last tone, adding the color deep orange. I will use black to darken it. Again, with the same method, applying dark colors and then lighting it up using some light colors. I will also use blue tones, starting with the spare green, then ocean blue and vampiric flash to lighting it up. As to not mix up which tone I am using in it mini, I am putting them in a wet palette next to the color I am currently using. To continue the flow of painting in series and not forgetting the tone. I'm going to use the Vampiric Flash color to paint the base coat for the fabric stripes around the arms and legs, and also the base coat of the fur. Later, I will apply an ink in these areas to increase the details and contrast. Now, I will paint the metallic areas, like weapons, earrings, using black metal color for the silver areas. And for the golden areas, I will use a darling gold color paint.
After applying black in all the bases of the minis, I'm dry brushing with grey. Then, I will dry brush with dark brush color to create a dirty earthy effect. To paint the eyes, I'm applying white as a base. Then, I apply yellow because over the white it becomes more saturated and intense. I do this in almost all the minis. And some, I will use just black, as the bat for example. And in some, I will paint with just white, as the big bear. After painting the eyes, it's very common to smooth. So, don't worry if it happens to you. You just need to reapply the skin tones to correct it. Now, I will paint more details, the ears and nose. I will paint it with pinkish, orange and reddish tones. I am using mixes with Lilo Pop, Magenta, Basic Skin Tone, Deep Orange and Deep Red. I'm using some blood effects in this mutant goblin. The chains are hurting him. Just finishing some details and that's it. That's it guys, did you like it? I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Bye bye!